Welcome to the Academy of Photography. Everyone needs to believe in something. I believe I'm gonna have another beer. I'm Christian Tudor and today I would like to share some interesting effects I know, probably some of you already know about it. Now the festive season has passed and before you put your Christmas lights away for the next year, I'm gonna show you some cool tricks how to use them for some nice special effects. Here's what you need to do. You need to use a telephoto lens, a piece of paper and you take out a circle roughly a little bit smaller than the uh, diameter of your lens. You cut out a piece of paper like that and you cut out again a little star. So what you need to do is just mount it here. Obviously it doesn't need to be perfect. And you just put a... Uh, and you just install the filter on top of it. Now you don't have to do this, you can do it above. So you can cut the, uh, the uh, paper uh, larger and you can actually wrap around. The important thing is that you have to have a star-like shape or, or any shape if you want. You can do hard shapes, you can do squares, you can do triangles, you can do any shape you want and as long as it doesn't block the center of the lens. The other thing you need for this exercise is just a Christmas light system. The, many, the more lights you have, the better. So this is called the bokeh effect and you've probably seen this before but just as a refresher, this is a very good idea if you cut one of these uh, pieces of uh, paper and you have it handy, if you have a bit of cardboard and you have it in your bag, you may never know how, when you can use it. The most important thing is that you need to have the lights far away in the background and you need to have them completely out of focus so the subject should be relatively close to you. I'm just gonna show you an example what I'm talking about. So what I have here is just a simple candlelight because Let's uh, simulate the spirit in the distant background, these Christmas lights. So I'm gonna focus on this and you'll see how interesting the background will look like. Now, because my subject was a little bit too dark in comparison with the background, I just added a little bit of modeling light. This is not uh, necessarily continuous light, but it will do the job for now. Imagine that you have a wedding couple somewhere in a park and it's dark outside and you have a lot of lights in the background. You can find a nice lit spot under a street light. You can use this technique to have a very nice interesting background. So let's see what we get. So right now what you see it's recording with the DSLR directly because I wanted to you to have an idea exactly how this effect is created. So basically just remember you do need a um, telephoto lens. You will see now the reflections into the lens because of uh, that trick we did with the paper, with the cutout paper. And now because we are probably to the, uh, we reached the biggest focal distance and this is about 200 now. I'm just gonna do it completely out of focus. As you can see, the very nice and interesting effects are being created. Obviously, you can use a star shape form or heart shape form or whatever. Your imagination is your own limit. Another interesting idea that you can do with your Christmas slice before you put them away, you can do actually a lasso thing at night time. So if it's dark outside, you can do a long time exposure, 10, 20 seconds in completely in the dark and you can play with this like that until you're satisfied with the results. You can add flashes, you can add second curtain synchronization flashes and triggers. I think this will give you a, a good opportunity to have a little bit of fun and get something creative and probably a little bit different than the others.
If you come up with something great, I would be very interested to see them. I hope you enjoyed this little tip and until I see you next time, I wish you happy shooting. Thank you very much.